Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is my favorite international holiday. It's April Fool's Day. And I thought I'd like to teach my pet Arduino a real cool April Fool's prank. Stick around, this is gonna be fun. The heart of this prank is this little gadget that I found on eBay one day. It was very expensive, so I decided to order it. Kind of an odd looking thing, isn't it? It's got a little electric motor in it, a little reservoir here at the end, and a nozzle out front. We're going to blow bubbles. So, what's the deal with this thing anyway? <laughs> well, they're built to attach to those little quadcopters people like to fly. Watch this clip by Brian from Blood, Sweat and Gears Automotive. Click this link here to view his channel and see this whole video. To pull off our prank, we're going to need our pet Arduino here. Of course, we'll need the bubble machine. I've also ordered this little ultrasonic sensor. That'll be a lot of fun. And a breadboard to build things up on. We'll start by attaching our ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino. Simply plug it in to pins 2 through 5. Just like that. Our ultrasonic sensor has four pins. We've got VCC, which is 5 volts, trigger, echo, and ground. So if we're hooking this thing up to pins 2 through 5 on the Arduino, where are we going to get the 5 volts and ground? Here's the sketch for my April Fool's bubble project. In our setup routine, I've declared that VCC is going to be output and ground is going to be output. And then I write VCC1, which is high, and ground 0. When you write a pin high, you're putting 5 volts on it. Write it low, it's 0, the same as ground. So we fooled our Arduino this time. We've got an extra 5 volts and ground off of our I.O. pins. The current draw on this sensor is very minimal, so this is safe to do. Using the I.O. pins to drive the ultrasonic sensor is one thing. But when it comes to running the motor on our bubble machine, that's another. That's where this little guy comes in. Let's take a closer look. It's a little miniature relay. I've got it a Radio Shack. <laughs> Remember Radio Shack? It's got pins on it to run a coil to open and close the relay. And we have a common pin over here. We can apply 5 volts and open and close the contacts that will run our bubble machine. And it plugs right into a breadboard. Okay, I know, I know, enough of this. You want to see the bubbles. Give me a minute, I'll hook it up, and we'll take a look. Walking through here one more time. Oh, golly, there it goes. Walking through here one more time. We've got our bubble machine over here. The green LED tells me it's arm, so I'm holding very still right now. The blue LED will come on when the sonar detector measures how long it takes a ping to bounce back off an object to come back to the sensor. I'll use a threshold in the software to detect the presence of our target. I have it set really tight right now so that all I have to do is put my hand in front of it and it'll activate it. There's a relay in here that will put 5 volts on our little bubble machine. Uh, there's soap in it. It's going to come out as you've already seen. So here we go again. I'll move my hand down. And out come the bubbles. How about that? I still have another problem to solve. I need to put my rangefinder down low so it can detect when someone sits down. But I want the bubble machine up high so that the bubbles will come down below. I need to be able to separate them from each other. Well, I came up with an idea. Remember these guys right here? This <laughs> used to be attached to a telephone. Remember the days they had cords? We actually attached our phones to the wall? Well, now I need to find something that I could plug this nifty RJ11 plug into. Off to the junk box.
Next, they took a pair of jumper cables, just like this, cut them in half to create two of them, and soldered them onto those two RJ11 jacks that I took out of the telephone. One has male plugs on it, one has female. The male plugs plug right into a breadboard so I could hook up that end of the joke. And I've got male plugs that plug into the female set for the bubble machine here. Then all I have to do is hook them together with that phone cord. Now it's time to set the trap. like and share.